Scotland training at their White River base ahead of tomorrow's test match against South Africa in Nelspruit. And one man who will be starting on the bench is Fraser Brown of Glasgow. It's difficult. You can either go in and you can be, you know, you're so pumped yourself that you don't really notice it until after the game. And then you're sitting down after the game, you're thinking, God, I can't move. Um, or, you know, as you say, it can take you, you know, a minute or two just to get ready to it. And then once you're into it, you're into it. Situations like it's difficult. I think when you get to a place like this, I mean, doing it for Glasgow and then hopefully coming off and doing it tomorrow, um, you kind of get yourself into a mindset where you've got a job to do. You know, you're here for a reason, so you don't you don't really think about it that much. You you know, you're here on either in the back of your merit, and you're here for a reason. So you know within yourself, you've got confidence in yourself that you can do what's asked of you. So um, I probably won't think about it too much, to be honest. I'll be more focused on just nailing all my jobs right. Starting in the second row for Scotland will be Jim Hamilton, and he says preparations for the game have gone well. Yeah, and, and that's the, you know that's the thing with, with Test match rugby. You, you've got to get straight back on the uh, on the wagon, and that's what we've had to do. You know, it's been well documented that we've uh, you know lost a few guys to injury, but that gives other guys a great opportunity to come in. And uh, you know, it's a formidable test at the weekend against South Africa on their home patch, and we're all well aware of that. And uh, we've trained accordingly. It's funny that you, the three sides that you've got that you could possibly face in this competition are amongst the three of the most direct teams when it comes to attack. Does that make it any easier in that, 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 that there are certain styles and they, and they play kind of similarly? Makes it easier for the bigger guys like myself, um, but they're very good at what they do and South Africa in particular, they have a very, very simple game plan. But obviously it's a very effective game plan as, as we've seen over the past few years and you know, we saw against Italy, they are trying to evolve the game a little bit more and play a little bit more, um, you know, flowing rugby, if you were. But look, they've got a, a big bunch of guys and uh, they're very direct and we're well aware of that and uh, we're well aware of the challenge at the weekend. How, how difficult does that make that area, you know, close to the breakdown then? Because that, if you like, that's where they'll target maybe one out and, and it makes that area immensely important. Yeah, obviously it makes it immensely important, but it's glaringly obvious when you struggle there and... Uh, you know, we struggled in the Six Nations against England around that area, and we we all saw the the effects of that. And obviously, again at the weekend, you know, if we if you can't get involved in that first phase and you can't affect that as a defence, you're always going to be on the back foot. And as I said, South Africa are very good at that, and uh, we're well aware and uh, hopefully well equipped uh, to deal with that.